positive news as we continue a robust construction program uh, coming out of the stimulus, I-93, which is an important capacity project for us, carries 106,000 cars a day on two lanes of traffic. That project, uh, we were successfully issued some Garvey bonds last fall, and uh, we're well underway with the expansion of that project. So we're on a strong construction program there. The big news that we're dealing with today is the budget. It's all about the money. Uh, the, both chambers of the legislature have reduced our motor vehicle surcharge, which reduces annually $55 million a year of funding from the Department of Transportation and the Department of Safety. Now, New Hampshire has a disciplined, uh, constrained 10-year capital program, and this takes us from about the 450 miles a year we need to pave down to about 250 miles a year. And uh, that's just not sufficient for us in the long run. During these challenging economic times with ever increasing gas prices, our working poor don't have access to the multimodal transportation system that they deserve. We're reevaluating our 10-year capital plan and making that case to the legislature, and we'll see. We're in the middle of a process right yet, so uh, the jury's out until July on uh, just what kind of budget we're gonna have and how we're gonna move forward.